This is Edible Acres talking about an indoor project uh, in a garage here where my girlfriend and I live and trying to convert this to the south wall, convert this to a passive solar uh, situation so I can use the garage to do building agricultural products throughout the winter. It's a mess right now, but I thought it would be fun to document this partly for myself and maybe for folks to get an idea. So this is, you're looking due south here. Boy, I owe it to myself and the world another camera. Next video will be on a new camera, I promise. Um, so our gardens are out to the south, and this garage tends to be so freaking dark and dreary to work in. And this whole wall is, I mean, beat up and old and nasty. That stuff's rotting out. So I thought it'd be fun peel this whole wall off, leave the studs, and replace it all with glass. Now I got trying to keep this project under five dollars <laughs> as is my way uh... found these old storms storm windows i guess storms are slang for storm windows in the industry probably not and i'm sticky and annoying maybe <laughs> i got four of these that are identical fifty five and a half inches by thirty one and a quarter and I'm gonna figure out how to make them work in this space so um... right now the first order of business is to um, basically take this off within reason. I think I'll be able to get to there and I'm gonna have glass from the base pretty much all the way up to the top or maybe I start at the top and come down. I think that's more reasonable. More winter solar. So the winter sun's coming through like that. It can pierce all the way into the garage. Maybe I can even do some passive solar heating. Certainly you can do passive solar lighting for this space and not use electricity to light it during the days. In the summer the sun is high enough and it goes through an ornamental apple. This big beast right here. When that leaves out there's no heating that's going to happen but enough ambient light to work throughout the days. But really this is about making the space work for me in the winter months which is when I have downtime for my other work and not um, burn up electricity just to illuminate while I do handward working. It'd be nice to have a, a passive solar warmed and lit space so I can work with hand tools and enjoy kind of the ethical feel of all that for the winter. But anyway, I'll just document as I go along. One hour in. This is the first section that should roughly accommodate um, two two of these windows laid on their side, stacked one on top of the other. Already a ton more light in here, thinking it makes sense to continue on. I wanted to be conservative and just take out one bay first. Second bay will be next. That'll take us to about here, and i have to figure out some way of putting in a stud to support the end of the window. Kind of fun. Grimy work, but pretty fun. Really looking forward to having a, a big amount of light just blasting through here. It's a really overcast day. It's 9 in the morning, so I'm not expecting it to be too bright yet, but, um, you know, noon on a sunny day in the middle of the winter it should be really quite lovely in here, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, definitely still more work to be done, but very rough fitting. I wanted to put the windows up just to get a sense of how they were going to fit, and they do. There's a gap at the bottom, but that was intentional. I plan on filling that with some sort of uh, more rot-resistant wood. The stuff that was at the bottom for the last, whatever, 50 years was pretty well rotted and wet, so having the windows in contact uh, down there with the cement wouldn't be the best anyway, so maybe I'll run locust or some sort of sealed pine, we'll see. There's some off cuts here, so maybe I can salvage them and put them back in. But yeah, everything needs to be taken apart again, cleaned really thoroughly, repainted. I didn't realize that one was an oddball, but it's not that far off, so oh well. But yeah, I've just got little tacks in each of the corners to see. Uh, tons more light going in there now. We're still, I'm still in like the two dollar range, basically in screws. We'll get up to three or four dollars in paint when it's all said and done. I'm pleased with it as a basic uh, start. We'll take another shot once it's all, you know, painted, cleaned, and I've gone through and tidied everything up. Tomorrow's trash day, so I'm trying to 
get as much done and as much cleaned and out to the curb as possible so that uh, once this is gone I can build a proper shop right here. And I'm just think, starting to brainstorm about being able to build temporary shelves and once we get into the warmer months of spring before the um, apple buds out, leaves out, maybe could use this for starting uh, cold hardy seedlings. So that'd be really fun. Didn't even think of that at first. I mean, it's not going to be very warm in here, but it'll certainly be a lot of light. Let's see how it goes. I'm running low on batteries, so we'll just try to make this quick. This, uh, this is the product of a little less than two days of work, and I still think less than five bucks in screws. The windows were free. Found them on the side of the road. Storm windows, single pane windows, you can find very easily all over the place. Ask around. People replace them all the time. And for a garage application like this, I think they work great. Very rough shod. You know, if you look at the details, if you zoom in real close, which I could do, I don't mind. Uh, you know, there's still some gaps in between. Well, no, maybe not. Some spots. I know that there's some spots where there's air gaps. Yep. So I'll go through and patch that up, paint another round on there. But um, the other day it was super sunny and pretty cold and it felt really nice in here, really bright, very well illuminated. And uh, you get the idea, so this is a very inexpensive project. I'm definitely not a skilled carpenter in any way and it worked out pretty well. You can see the bricks that are laid up, that's the beginning of what will be a trom wall. It's a little teaser for another video. These will be enclosed in plywood or glass and painted black to accumulate heat uh, and heat the space on sunny but cold days. So we'll come back to that at another time, but right now it's just a rough sketch. We'll take a quick look from the outside and that'll be the conclusion of a very simple project. Very, very simple DIY project. A couple of bucks. A good ten hours maybe of work. I, I'm sure I could have done it faster if I was more skilled, but uh, it works well enough for us and makes the garage way more functional. No light needs to be needed in here during the day. It's a mess, but so be it. Um, but now I've got all this nice illumination. You can see a pressing cider on the north end of things here. This <laughs> the actual stuff that we're pressing into is clean. You gotta believe me on that. But I pressed 15 gallons the other day with the ambient light that was in here. And uh, another teaser for another project. I'll be making a video of these, but I'm manufacturing a ton of these CPVC clips that allow us to um, take greenhouse plastic and clip them onto these bent forms of half-inch EMT conduit. You can see out in the garden we've got little hoops everywhere. So I'll come back for another video of that. This will be our season extension, you know, replicable, easy, year after year, reusable ways of adhering greenhouse plastic. Another solar oriented project, but I guess everything in the world is since without the sun we have nothing. But anyway, there's my solar uh, warmed, but definitely solar lit garage project in a semi-completed enough state to share with folks. I hope it inspires you to maybe take a scrappy garage that you've got and add some light to it on the cheap. Thanks for watching.